For this video, I'm using an already filled and crumb coated cake. Wafer paper cut in different size strips. One edge is cut straight with a pair of scissors and the other edge by hand to create an uneven cut. I'll demonstrate it here. To color the wafer paper, I used petal dust and a soft brush. I used it just like that. I didn't mix it with anything, any vodka, any alcohol. I used it just like that, dry. Remember to use the wafer paper, shiny side up, always. I also have three decorating tips. Number 123, number 3 and number 12 all by Wilton I have a flower nail I have parchment paper cut into 2 inch squares you may also use wax paper if you like here is the homemade fondant I'll be using I made this fondant last night and let it rest overnight. I'll leave the link of my video on how to make homemade fondant in the information window. I just wanted to show you that although this is homemade fondant, it is so soft and I love working with it. You should try it as well. I have this piping gel that I am going to use, which I made yesterday also. I will leave the link to that as well on how to make this piping gel. So let's get started. To start with tip number 12, pipe a small dot of icing on the flower nail to attach the paper to it. Using the same tip number 12, pipe a small amount of icing the size of a penny, more or less, and about half an inch tall, more or less. To pipe the stamens, pipe one pull-up dot in the center, then pipe five or six more pull-up dots around it, smaller than the first one, and that's going to be your center. Take tip number 123 at a 45 degrees angle and pipe each petal using one third of the nail for each petal meaning that the nail will be divided into three, three petals in total. Repeat the second round of petals, only this time start piping in the middle of a previous petal and stagger each petal accordingly. I will do it a couple of more times. And um, just so you know, you always need to clean your tips, especially the tip that I'm using uh, for the petal 123 tip 123 is um, the, the the end is very open and so the icing flows right through very easily and so you need to constantly constantly be cleaning 
after each piping otherwise your tulips is not going to look nice And now it's time to cover my cake with fondant. In order for me to know how big I need to cut my fondant circle for my cake, I need to multiply the height of the cake by two and add it to the diameter of the cake. That will give me the total inches I need. For my cake, I will need 15 inches in diameter. I've already rolled down my fondant and I'm measuring the inches I need and trimming off the edges. I roll my rolling pin over the fondant, pick it up and cover my cake very gently. I'm using my hands to smooth out the fondant and attach it to the buttercream um, very gently. Never pull fondant lest it'll tear. You may use a fondant smoother as well. You will smooth the edges and the sides and, and, and you will do this gent gently because you don't want the fondant to rip. If you pull the fondant for sure it will tear and you will need to take that fondant out and repair it and start all over. Now I am uh, cutting away the excess of the edges and that's it. I'll be done in a few minutes. I've already started attaching the paper strips on the cake using piping gel. The straight side of the strip goes down um, towards the bottom and the ruffled edge goes up. Don't glue the entire strip, just the bottom as you want the paper to look full and not stuck to the fondant. Do not use water or edible glue to glue the strips of wafer paper. Those create too much humidity and what is going to happen is if you use water or edible glue, the paper will absorb all that humidity and it's going to start to disintegrate on the fondant. So just make sure that what you are using is um, piping gel, only piping gel. Continue to attach the strips all the way to the bottom. Be sure to refrigerate your tulips or any flower that is made with buttercream 
for at least 20 to 30 minutes before you place them on your cake. You may place the tulips to your liking, wherever you like them to be placed, you do that. I just wanted to show you that my tulips were not well refrigerated and so now I'm having problems with my gloves. So at some point I took them off because my tulips needed at least five more minutes. You see how um, I have to be using the spatula because I cannot grab them. Like I said before, uh, buttercream flowers, they need to be refrigerated for at least 20 minutes. Sometimes when you are in a hurry like I was, you want to speed up the process, but that can't happen because when, that, when you do that, then... Um, you are not working efficiently. As you can see, I just removed my gloves because I could not grab the tulips. So, uh, just that that's just uh, for you to know why I took my gloves off, what, what happened. So, um, remember, 20 to 30 minutes, refrigerate any buttercream flour before you place them on the cake. Continue to add the tulips as you want them to look. You it's your cake. You will make them. Um, you will make your cake look as you like. Later on, we will be piping some uh, green. We will be piping leaves. And here I'm finishing up, piping up some leaves. Wherever I saw a spot that I could put a leaf, I did that. You may also pipe um, some flower buds if you like. If you don't want to pipe so many leaves, you can just pipe a few. You decorate it the way you like it. So. This is a finished product. As you can see, I piped some tiny, tiny white flowers, more like rosebuds in white, as you can see. So that's how I finished it. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please be at peace with everyone as long as it is possible for you. Take care and God bless you. We'll see you next time.